and a big bienvenue to all of you on this busy Sunday evening. I am Angry Ed. This is Pixel Shaded Grappling coming to you from Quebec as we have Pixel Shaded Grappling's Pride FC. The FC stands for French Canada. All right, we got we got six matches to do and I'll not so much time to do it. Plus, we also got to fire two people before the second week of September, but we'll come to that when we come to it. Next up, so let's get going and let me get this mouse cursor out of the way. Our opening contest will see French, we'll see Quebec's own Doug Ronge take on the Graham Canyon. Ten minutes, non-title, first fall to a finish. Check out my usage of overrides now that I know how to do the texture stuff. Oh, okay, it's blue or that. Hmm. I actually like the light one better. This. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's all good. I'm thinking about these things too much again. Strict pin submission, slow count. Fireball flins the ref. Nah, nothing there. Let's just, let's, again, like I said, let's just get right into it. Doug Lange, Graham Canyon, opening contest. Wait a minute. Oops. No. I guess I'll have to keep those as that for now. All right, whatever. And here he is, Doug LaRange. Been making a bit of a name for himself recently. Has a couple of victories under his belt. And then we also have Graham Canyon. Also on a bit of a tear recently. Seems to have maybe missed a step or two here or there, but definitely still a dominant contender. And here we go. What a counter. Douglas Orange taking an early lead in the offense here. Charging in. Graham Cannon with an expert dodge. He's looking for... Not sure what he was looking for. Perhaps a power bomb or a pile driver. Back round, back forward, missing the back fist. A lot of spinning going on here. Back slide for the rope break. Graham Canyon missing his knee strike. Unloading on him with those punches, sending Graham Canyon out of the ring. But he's right back in. Runs in. Ooh, big lariat. Takes Doug LaRange off his feet. And he's back up. Ram Canyon on the edge there. That was definitely a mistake. He's sent to the outside, and we're taking the action outside as well. Good back body drop by Graham Canyon there. Goes to the apron, comes back down to deliver some more punishment. He's thrown into the ref. Is that a rock or a shot put? What is he hitting him with? We're already at a, uh, we're already at a four count. Now a five count for Doug LaRange. He has to be thinking about getting back in unless he wants to be counted out and disqualified. Or he could just keep doing this bow and arrow hold. And falls out. We're at eight. He rolls back in, but he still has the rock. Now he's put it down. 
few weak defensive kicks there. Graham Cannon trying to get some offense going. Got him in a bear hug. No, countered. Countered into roll up. Countered into roll up. Good back and forth exchange between these two. Graham Canyon definitely still has fight left in him. Slams him back into the ring. And they lock up. Big spear. What the hell was that? And just like that, Doug LaRonge wins by tapping him out to a test of strength. And Graham Canyon is not happy about it. Graham Canyon's status has not been affected by that match. Doug LaRonge's status has not been affected by that match. What do you think of the costume I put together, Ace Diamond? Shall I wear this in the ring? I have no idea who you are. And why are we meeting in the... Why are we meeting in the subway? Jerry Limeade? No. I suppose my old costume is better. Thanks for stopping me from embarrassing myself. Yeah, I kept you from dressing up like Cathedral. Well, I guess that means we're going to have the tag event now. Here is uh actually let's go over there. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. You change to be boom. I guess uh, screw it. Ace Diamond will take the take that. We got the Nation of Carbon Nation defending their belts. Against Team Most Extreme. A couple of newcomers here. First fall wins, 15 minute tag, match, in submissions, slow count, no stoppage, strict rules. And no script, to, no script, just match. Here. Not the nation. Not the nation of carbonation. It's Biffo. Silly me. I don't see any uh, sign of their. I don't see their manager, Rolls Royce Gracie, though. Anyway, here are the challengers, team most extreme. Champions out first because I made a whoops. I guess, the people on the, I guess the people on that corner are out first. It's always difficult for me to tell. Anyway, here we go. The two legal guys, the two guys who aren't legal start trying to hit each other with weapons. Is that a brick? Where did, where did Brad Leslie get a brick? This arena's falling apart harder than the friggin' Olympic arena. Big press slam by Giant Baba Ganoush. But he drops him. Got him up there. No, big counter by MC Flurry. And a drop toe hold right onto the belt. Knee bar, that's a rope break. Bob Backlit loves it. Big punch, knocking, knocking his tag partner off again. Anyways, yes, Biffo, the British Fist Fight, the British Isles Fist Fighting Organization, with a new theme, as you heard. Let's go for a kick. This is the weirdest punch exchange I've ever seen. World's strongest slam, and tag made to Brad Leslie. Backdrop driver. I 
Donald Leslie, former pitcher of the Honkyu Braves. Well, there's numerous other things. Big punch strike exchange. Headlock takeover. Interference by Interference by Bruce Bogan there with the hold locked in. Is he trying to get some offense back? No good big DDT from MC Flurry. He looks to be making a tag. Yes, he's now tagged in Bruce Bogan, who's had a reversal of fortune since ditching his police outfit for the flannel vest and getting some hair hair extensions? I'm not sure what those are. Raining some elbows down. That's a rope break. MC Flurry reading Power Slam there on the outside. There's a guitar here and a present. Wonder what's in the present. Giant Baba Ganoush misses the off the apron clothesline. Now he's got the gift. Tag made back to MC Flurry. Giant Baba Ganoush knocked off the edge of the ring. Headlock, and holy shit, Biffo takes it with a headlock victory. Out of nowhere. Defending the belts. Biffo have cemented their reign by defending the tag championship in that match. Feel even worse about getting their names wrong. Jaime Babaganoush's profile has suffered. Red Animal Leslie's profile has suffered from being the losing participant. Bruce Bogan's profile has improved. You ever heard of a wrestler called Mickey James from All American Wrestling? I mean, I have, Ivy. I think I could do the um, better, so why don't I become our version of her? Like, psychotic stalker? No, just focus on being yourself. Maybe I should join Mickey James at All American Wrestling if you have no idea. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these days. All right, well, just giving, just for giving me the sass mouth, you now have to ref the women's, the women's title match. Natalia Neidhart defending her belt against, I mean, Lamrock Shooter defending her belt against Natalia Neidhart. Ten minutes defense, actually fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes, first fall to a finish. Strict rules. Slow count, arena. I think we're good about this. Do I have titles on? Yes, I okay. do. Sorry, I'm paranoid about constantly messing up these settings. Okay, I officially don't know who what makes the champion come out first or second. Oh well. Hey, she found money. Somebody's really enjoying that synthesized kick drum. I if Rolls Royce Gracie uh, is missing some money. Here we go. Big drop kick from Natalia Neidhart to start out this match. Taking it to Glamrock Shooter, but misses a moonsault. And the larger competitor chance to... They're going to need more kick in the mix. <laughs> Hi, Polly. Hamrock Shooter's got her up. No, reversed into a reverse Frankensteiner into Camel Clutch. Spinning toe hold. Shades of Terry Funk. For those of you just joining us, we are at Pixel Shaded Grappling's Pride FC. The FC is for French Canada, live from Quebec. Locked in a figure four here. The pace has slowed to a crawl. Back and forth. Nice arm drag by Lamrock Shooter. 
Misses the elbow. And right, a stomp right to the Grundle area. Rolls Royce Gracie might actually be missing money. Here he is out. He's actually here on commentary. Ty Neidhart baiting Damrock Shooter off the apron, but it seems to have not done much. Reverse neck breaker. And roll up. Why is why is she not counting? Why did she do that? Why did she just did a moonsault off the apron? Dynamic count entry. Big gut wrench suplex. And now doing uh, CPR the wrong way. And both of them back in the ring. Over in the corner now. Hip toss. Oh, another Grundle hit. And headlock takeover. Headlock, side headlock. Quite the slow start. People seem to be really into this match right now. And just like that, Natalia Neidhart takes the championship off of a side headlock of all things. We have a new women's champion. I think means all of my champs are heels. Oops. Status has dropped after losing. Well, she'll get a she'll get her rematch clause, of course. Let's get something mid card going. Let's get Flex Beanbag in there against one of our newcomers, Jean Rambeau. Anything can happen here at PSG. Yep. Lenient rules. No DQs. Ten minutes. Props. I'll well, just, just add a few more things of furniture, a few more weapons. You know why not? Flex beanbag. Jean Rambo. One on one. Next. one of our newer, newer acquisitions. Here to the ring. Normally tagging with Bebo Crawshanks, having a singles match now this time. Yes, I also have given Flex Beanbag a new song. Oh no, the water bottle's been stolen. Uh, wait. I can't be- and now I'm not sure if that's water, soda, milk, or beer. Either way, Jean Rambeau taking it to him. Yeah, thanks guys, the backwash really helps with that. Northern Lights suplex by Flex Beanbag, but John Rambo is right back up and immediately misses a moonsault. Missed leg drop into headlock into pink belly into armbar thing. No DQs means no rope breaks. Into crossface. countered into a big headlock. Same move that <laughs> ended the last match. Both of 
both of them struggling back to their feet. Flex being back with the gut wrench suplex. Oh man, Brian Takayama. That diving clothesline attack. Each man having an answer for the other's offense. Oh, we're gonna go out of the ring. Nope. Oh, no, we are going out of the ring. Big backdrop. Suplex out of the ring. Flex beanbag. And then he broke the win and then he broke that bottle. I mean, probably got shards in his eyes, it looks like. I'm really not sure what was in that bottle. Now I'm not sure if I want to know. <coughs> you still have count outs. Just don't have rope breaks. <coughs> oh, wow, a shovel. Rear naked choke with the body scissors. Rambo is at a seven count now. He really should think about getting back in or, you know, get himself counted out. That, that could also be a thing that happens. Big headbutt. Just absolutely unloading on him now. Lex being back at seven rolls back in as well. Random match. These two are really taking it to each other. Come up. Kick? Nope. Punch counters. Looks like he may have rattled John Rambeau's head there a bit. I, I, I'm not sure what Fox Beanbag was going for there. Ooh, big trick. Gets slammed out of the ring. What are they doing? Why do they keep doing that? Runs right into that drop kick. I think this is the longest match so far on the card. Going for a pile driver. No, he w tried to go for a power bomb, but it was reversed into a Hurricane Rana. Got him up. Big body slam. Arm drag into arm bar. Another tap out. Yeah, Flex Beanbag takes that one. Profile improved. Don Rambo status not affected. And I don't even know if we're going to have enough people to actually... I mean, enough fans to actually take over this territory. Which, uh... All right, next up, we're going to have the TV title match. Yep, that's right. I already got X-Pac there. All right, I was going to use Doug Blown on for that. I screwed it up. Who will? All the little flexters out there. I guess that little flexters is probably better than little baggies or little bean bags. TV title match rules 10 minutes, defend titles, strict. Aaron Winslow getting the title shot because I forgot who was getting what. Also adding. Perennial challenger Hecklehorn on commentary. And uh, oh, and if you can feel my pain and challenge. There's audience vote, product placement, undefeated street.
There we go. Rematch for Xbox title. Buttons to switch roles. Keep that feud going. And uh, let's do it. Here's challenger Aaron Winslow. Last television championship match ended with some controversy after an almost immediate disqualification. Already signed a rematch for it at the pay-per-view. You two attached to my title, X-Pac. I'll be activating my rematch clause soon enough. I think he already did, but this is the only promo I could find. Probably expecting me to come out here and beg for rematch as soon as possible, right? But unlike you, I'm a professional and takes this business seriously, and I don't fight for free. Well, I mean, you do in charity matches. I'm giving you until a later date to get ready to give me your best on the big stage. I know I'll be ready, so make sure you are too. There'll be no more excuses after I beat you. That at least goes. And off we go. Respect to Razzle in the charity match. I mean, to be fair, we do ch we usually end up doing charity matches after somebody dies in this game. Back back suplex into O'Connor roll. Nope. Take out. Headlock take him. Just punch exchange. Boss man slam. Oh, sneaky roll up by Xbox. Only gets a one count, just barely though. Their arm drag. This is that one. Enzo trying to take advantage now. Slingshot suplex. Hawk rolls to the outside. Gets a camera. He's trying to make it. Turns out that camera was also explosive, and now he's fighting with the ref. Maybe he's trying to draw a disqualification. And then, ooh, another violent exchange of punches. Snapmare by Xbox. Champion firmly taking control here with this headlock. Nope, wasn't able to. Keep a hold on it. Maybe the mask is slippery. Drop toe hold. Dodges the slap. Tried to electric chair him, and that's reverse Frankensteiner into Camel Clutch, the move that won him the title. The punches. Bossman slams him right out of the ring, and we're going outside. Xbox may have hurt his legs on that. He is just getting wailed on now. Counters that attempted charging attack with another arm drag. Not sure what he's going for there. Is he just kneeing him in the balls? X-Pac is tapping out, but it's no good on the outside. Winslow's getting counted up to eight. X-Pac could win this again by count out. Thrown into the, thrown into the ropes. Aaron Winslow back in the ring. X-Pac looking worse for the wear. Might not have a chance here. I think he forgot what he's supposed to be doing, but he's back in at eight. Line. Two of them telling the other to attack first. And Winslow pays for his intransigence by getting spinning wheel kicked right off the apron. And we're back outside. Really? 
Uh, it's not a clutch. Countered. I've got a knee bar here. Again on the outside. I'm trying to get back into the ring, maybe? Ref takes another hit. Slingshot suplex. Almost into the barrier. No, you cannot win by submission outside. <laughs> it has to be in the ring. It's not a hard... This one is not a hardcore match. Look at them squaring off, staring each other down. Ducks the spinning wheel kick. Another rope break. It's dropped. Ooh. Skull crushing finale. One, two, we could have a new champion right here. And we do. Aaron Winslow has scored an upset victory over the champion X Pac to take the television title. Box status has dropped. Congratulations to Aaron Winslow for becoming the new TV champ. It's time I'm tired of busting my ass in the gym for such small gains. Dude, you're a headbanger. You're not supposed to be ripped. Why are we at the airport? I think it's worth paying $190 for steroids that will enhance my physique. Oh, make the natural gains, dude. I'll just have to keep wasting time and energy doing the hard way. Why is the why is the plane parked in the middle of the street? All right, well, uh, this has been an okay show so far, but I guess I got to do something really cool for the main event. Bruno is not, not getting in the ring. Anybody else? Oh, and uh, Slam Adams. All right. So, uh, best of three Iron Man last lap submission last man standing to fight first blood super contest. Elimination. Strict, no time limit, non-title. First to escape now. No count outs. Nope. Actually, we will do a smash. A six-way tables match. I don't need the this. Six-way table match. Table elimination match. Uh, winner becomes number one contender after Bruno San Martino. Here we go. Carbonation. Here's Slam Adams, manager of the Nation of Carbonation, but also its third member. Carbonation. We put the tables on top of the announce table. And here's Dario Speedwagon. Uh, 
Third entrant. West Virginia. Kia Koloff, competitor number four. He's been with us since the first day. Always going to root for West Virginia, Dede. West Virginia got this brick. Fifth competitor, Shun Tokusatsu. Competitor, newcomer, masked Italian fashion model, Bellissimo del Toro. He's got toilet paper. What the hell? Toilet paper and beer. Something broke. In the ring. And we're off. There's already a table in the ring. Smart. Why do I have drop it listed? Did I really put it on strict rules? I could have sworn I didn't. This might be funny. Alright, I gave him all these weapons, but nobody can use them inside the ring. Oopsie doopsie. There's a suitcase there? All these guys hitting each other, but not, uh, not going for put, trying to put any of them through a table. Which is the objective of this match. Through a table. Oh, God. Pile driver right on the trash can lid. Through the table. All right, you're close to the table at least. Also, I'm pretty sure I, well, I only said eight. Well, there goes Ikea Koloff. Body slammed and rolling his way out of here. Get out. Trying to reassemble the table on top of the table. Slam Adams. Wait, what? That? How did that count? That table was already broken. What the fuck just happened here? Slam Adams has now eliminated two people in this match so far. No, seriously, what the hell happened? Got him up. Nope. Nope. Yep. Another pile driver. Fortunately, not on a trash can lid this time. Officials need to be investigated. West Virginia fell down through two tables that day. That's hard times. So, wait, is that. I think that's now what? Did Slam Adams also eliminate West Virginia. Our three remaining competitors going absolutely postal on one another. Would not be running around with that with those stairs. Those things are dangerous. Off the top! Off the top of the stairs with the double axe handle. Dario Speedwagon really wants his shot. Off the top. Ooh, punch to face. Runs in. Crossbody on nothing. Meanwhile, over at the con meanwhile over at the uh, booth, Jean Rambo is like, "Yeah, I can't see shit." Merde. More violent punching. Earl Monsoon says, "Down with this sort of thing." That ran suplex. Nothing. Shunto goes out. Are you trying to pick up two tables at once? Okay, that did not count as a furniture smash. Thanks. 
I guess because I said table specifically. Or stairs aren't furniture. Dario Speedwagon is beating the crap out of Slam Adams here. Oh, wait, gets caught in a go go plata. Tamura lock by. El Monsoon doesn't stand for this type of horsing around. Burgers in that sign being like, will you stop? Slam Adams having enough of Shuntoku Satsu's chicanery with the table. Chair there. A few punches. Rolls it back. Miss. Did you guys forget the rules? Because it feels like you guys forgot the rules. Oh, he's put the table back. Those tables are very placed very precariously. I'm just amazed we never even left the ring. Moonsault. Looks like he hurt his stummy on that. Oh, oh! I thought that was gonna. I thought that was gonna put an end to Slam Adams there. Dario Speedwagon rolls to the outside and immediately comes back in. And Shun Tokusatsu goes through both tables and is out. That just leaves Dario Speedwagon and Slam Adams in contention for a shot at the World Championship. And right now, no table, no intact tables are in the ring, which I don't think actually matters. I'm pretty sure this, that as long as they get put through. It. This is not. First off, that's not how you do CPR. Secondly, that's not how you win this type of match. Oh, an impressive counter into a calf crusher, but tapping out doesn't mean anything here. If anything, it'll probably make it more difficult for you to get him over to the table to put him through. Especially because, like I said, the tables are currently outside. Except for the, the broken ones, which you could put back together if you weren't doing this. Girl Monsoon, could you please throw something at them to end this? Mind they heard me. Lariat. Oh good, someone remembered the assignment. Off. With the double axe handle. He's got the table. Puts the table back. Going for... Hey, he wins! Slingshots him through the table the other way. And there were also some tacks there. Mario Speedwagon rides out the storm and rolls with the changes to get a title shot at a later date. Lisa Toro's profile has suffered. Chantuku Satsu's profile has suffered. Dario Speedwagon's profile has significantly improved. Slam Adams emerges from that match with some credit after surviving to the end. Yes, we are back in Canada, baby! Toppled Rising Sun Peresu. Alright, let's send him the tape. We are st what? That go How does it go? Oh, down two points, not two places. We are still tied, though, with Rising Sun Puresu for top brand in the world. How much money did we make or not make? Especially because I'm pretty sure I have to pay some downside guarantees. Well, fortunately, this is all money that doesn't belong to me. And now, let's see what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. After, right after I remember that I need to travel here. Love holds hate botches. I mean, that's... Yeah, we're going, we're going this way. 
MC Flurry's feud with Dario Speedwagon appears to have lost momentum and is no longer over with the fans. Shown here is Dario giving it a big zero. It stinks. Victoria Hinks has returned from her absence, ready to get back into the ring. Bruno San Martino is upset that he was promised a title push, but doesn't currently hold one. Okay. Yo Crosshank's profile has risen considerably after being hyped by the press. Well, we're paying him $8,900 $8, for the downside guarantee, so I would hope so. Luisimo Del Toro turned up drunk. I guess he took that beer bottle with him and is in no condition to perform. That was a week ago, dude. What the hell? Bob Backlit's association with West Virginia that has had a negative effect on his skill. He's gone week anyway. Conan has left Super Lucha Libre to pursue a career at Wrestling Revolution. And Pyro is glad that Conan has left Super Lucha Libre. And Mysterio Jr. is sad that Conan has left Super Lucha Libre. They believe grappling have been challenged to reduce the roster to 38 employees by the second week of September. Contract expired, Bebo Crosshanks. We need to talk about your future. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to retain him. Uh, downside guarantee. What if I... Three more weeks. Take it down to 6000 6, per week. But a $12,000 advance. Yeah, I'm a genius. Listen, hey, Diamond, I'm tired of busting my ass in the gym for such small gains. Yeah, this is not like this is not like Mr. Backland at all. I think it's worth paying 2070 for steroids that'll enhance my physique. First off, what the hell steroids were you looking for compared to Headbanger Mosh? Secondly, no. I have health insurance, so if I need steroids, then you better pay for them. Son of a bitch. Canada's all-American wrestling territory now, so Maple Leaf Grappling isn't welcome anymore. Yeah, whatever, Steph. I hope you were, I'm sure you were hoping to turn this into some sort of spectacle that only benefits your brand? Yeah, maybe. Your roster won't survive long enough to perform a show if you don't turn back now. Pretty sure if I turn back, I don't get to do a show. Nah, do your worst. No, 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 not in my house. Here's the biggest mistake you've ever made. The beating will give you is too extreme for TV. Yeah, that's right, Steph. Too extreme for television. It's me, Paul Heyman. Backstage confrontation, and there's Bones all. And the ring doctor? Well, thanks, Del Toro, you drunk bastard. Oh, God, the nasty boys. Boys, Mankind, Gorilla Monsoon. King Lawler, Fireball Flynn, Ace Diamond himself. Abyss eliminated. Oh, it wasn't Mankind. Oh, God. Jerry Lawler just powerbombed Animal Leslie. Is that Luna Vachon beating me up? Please stop trying to cripple my ref, Staff. Big elbow drop from the macho main. Wouldn't be the first time. Ow. Oh, right. Sorry, that's Bone Saw, not the macho man. I got confused because of what he's wearing. Is that, I, is that a member of Demolition? What is even happening? Jim Duggan fighting it out with Gorilla Monsoon. A lot of punching. These are the guys who were least fucked up. No, because Dario's there still. He had a heck of a fight. What is even happening? Yes, that is IRS. Oh, God. Camel clutch into getting a knee dropped on you. Is Rupa just sitting there watching this? What a jackass. God. That Typhoon's out. I thought that was Jim Duggan. Typhoon, better known as the Shockmaster. Okay, I want IRS to win, but, he, but if they win, then we don't... I think we don't get a show. Don't get me wrong. 
Well, I'm out. <laughs> McMahon is also out. Well, I want you. Quick, somebody grab one of the, somebody grab that locker room glizzy for a uh, for a health boost. Damn. Gary Sags being a real asshole here. Luna Vashon is out. The door opened. Somebody just left, I think. I think somebody just walked on out of here. Or that's just the noise. Speedwagon's out. Bone saw is eliminated. Bone saw is eliminated. And Leslie is eliminated. This isn't good. Uh, let's see what we got here. That Jake Roberts. Axe has been Axe from Demolition has been eliminated. I thought Bonesaw was ready too. Oh, there's only two people left. Who in the world is left? Oh, IRS is out as well. Who's left here? Oh, with Virginia Daddy. I'm gonna sweep you out of here, Jerry Thag. You nasty boy. Never mind. <laughs> All right, seriously, who's left? Oh God, is it just, is it just, is it just the ref? Is it just Fireball Flynn? Has he just been sitting there? Oh God. Inverse 3D, yeah, I think he's done. Very much done. Where the hell did everyone go? <laughs> Roll them on out of here. Yeah, everyone's just leaving. Bonesaw might actually be dead. Stop, he's already dead. I wonder if the last person standing just like actually left. I was just gonna take control of him to see how much health he had left, but I don't think that really matters. Can't seem to actually take control of him, so never mind. Maybe they'll just knock each other out. Is Fireball Flynn actually immortal? Has something weird happened here? I mean, that'll probably do it. Okay, so it's a so not only is there a locker glizzy, there's also a locker cigarette. What the hell is wrong with this arena? Okay, seriously, is, is he? He's he's very done. I don't know, done guys. Yeah, he's super done. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> Oh god, Jake Roberts off the top of the lockers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, keep it on, come on. Gotta, fi gotta finish it in style, you know. Come on, do it. Come on. Stephanie McMahon's agility has gone up. IRS's strength has gone up to 69. Nice. Smash the Roy of the profile, blah 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 blah. Police Motorios damaged the reputation of April Graphic. Oh, wait, that was Smash? That was Barry freaking Darso? This mode of terror is damaged by failing to win, yet what a, yeah. my status has been unaffected. Well, Monsoon's strength has risen to 80%. Bones! Oh, I severe head injury. 
and I'm going to be unable to wrestle for the next 10 weeks, and then I will have a shadow of my former self. Yep. <laughs> Maybe Luke Rafferty's proposed show in Canada has been cancelled after all American wrestling destroyed the venue. So what, after this, did they just demolish the arena? God damn. So yeah, we've got no show, so we're just going to have to wait until next week for the pay-per-view. Which I'm just going to do a proceed on this anyway. Just realized we're going to have to spend a crap ton of money because we didn't do... Sh oh god, no. Wait. How are we now in... Just casually planting bombs around your arena. God damn. Alright, we're going to lose a bunch of money, but we are in first again somehow, despite not putting on a show. And I guess I... And we didn't actually lose as much as I thought, because I only had to pay the downside guarantees. We're number one. We win by doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> I can't go there. Is there anywhere that I would like to go? Australia again? Nah. Let's just go back to the Northeast U.S. Nami Toyota's contract with All American Wrestling expired to be ideal time to post a 27 year old. Taz has defeated Jeff Jarrett to become the new television champion of Strong Style Wrestling. As the El Camino Pro. Strong Style Wrestling of Super Lucha Libre in South Africa after drawing 4,276 fans. The reach now extends to 7% of the world. Kachiko Okada has left Rising Sun Pro Wrestling to go to Wrestling Revolution. Lucy Flurry has come down with an illness and is in poor health this week, which means I can't do the tag titles on a pay per view. I don't really want to strip them of the belts, but I just might. Victoria Hinks is associated with Jim the Anvil Nighthard has a positive effect on her popularity. Beth Virginia had a feud with Sam Tokusatsu that he has completely forgot about. It appears to have lost momentum and is no longer over with the fans, baby. Aaron Cameron's contract with me believe grappling expires next week. Could be the 27-year-old's last appearance for the company. Bob Backlund's contract with me believe grappling is expired. The 56-year-old will meet with Ace Diamond later to discuss his future. Conan has dem dem yeah, damaged the reputation of Super Lucha Libre by appearing at Wrestling Revolution with their heavyweight title. You guys didn't hold a new match? Oh, there we go. Super Lucha Libre have crowned Brian Pillman as their new heavyweight champion. Hart's Hart contract with Federation Online has expired, which may be a deal time to post the 33-year-old. And I know, right? Reduce roster to 3DM, please. And we're now the most popular. Take that, Inoki. Super Lucha Libre sunk below the, below the shindies to become the least popular brand of wrestling with raised 76%. Great job, Bish. Yo, let's grab Owen. He's rad. I might, but I have to get I have to get rid of people first is the problem. Specifically, I have to get rid of Bob Backlit. So you're not on the same page anymore. It's time for us to go our separate ways. Yeah, that's what you get for getting for going behind my back and getting steroids. Listen, we're interested in bringing Bruce Bogan to Super Lucha Libre. I understand he's still under contract for another 14 weeks, but you would you be willing to release him for 25,600? No, Bruce Bogan's not for sale. I'm not selling off my tag champ. All right, you obviously can't be reasoned with. We'll just wait until his contract expires. Yeah, it's me, Eric Bischoff. All right, well, that takes care of one. That takes care of one problem. The bigger problem is what am I going to do for this pay-per-view? But that's going to have to wait for another time.